It's Friday, January 10th, and RJ has been working on the decks and windshield and combing boards of this late 60s, 25 foot Lyman sleeper. We have sanded and applied how much varnish at this point, RJ? Uh, four heavy coats. And we're using to apply the final coat of varnish this afternoon. The, uh, I started by sealing it with two coats of CPES cleaner. Um, I sanded the second coat of the CPS cleaner lightly to just get the dust and everything off before applying a coat of varnish. Um, then I put two coats of high build on and after the second coat of, or third coat of high build I put, I sanded it lightly and put a fourth coat on to get the dust in. Before the fifth coat we do a final sand, we try to get it flat like a white out so that you can't see anything but a flat looking finish. Um, I'm sanding with 400 at this point and I've used almost 100 pieces of paper to go as far as I have from that corner to the front deck there. I still have that gunnel which hasn't been hit yet. Um, one problem we encounter on the plywood decks is you can't sand through and you have to be very very careful on the edges of the boards because the plywood is dipped in the middle slightly so you have to sand less on the outside so that you don't sand through. And RJ I've got a question I see this chain hanging from the uh, skeg down here and, and on the ground what's what's the purpose of the chain? Um, I'm hoping that it will reduce the static electricity in the boat so that dust won't stick to the varnish like it normally does. And and when you put on the fourth coat with the chain on, it, I think I think we noticed a huge difference, right? It had very, very little dust in it compared to the other three coats, which I didn't have the chain on. And I've noticed actually on a couple of boats that if I hang a chain towards the end that the dust does not stick even close to as much. So what we have before us is uh, finishing up the sanding, applying the final coat, the fifth coat of varnish to all the flat surfaces and then uh, we will face the uh, seemingly endless task of finishing the windshields, right? There are 17 individual pieces, yep. four sides on every piece. We have one coat on every piece right now. That's right and so we've got four more to add. And we have to flip the pieces every time because you can only do one side at a time, so it's That's right. two dry times for each. So you see RJ is using a pneumatic palm sander for this purpose with the uh, 400 wet dry paper. And the challenge is, as he explained, is to get a whiteout make the surface uniformly white. We can be far more aggressive with, ply, with uh, mahogany that, than we can with plywood. We dare not stand through that very thin veneer of mahogany. We'll keep working on her and uh, her owner will enjoy a beautiful new varnish surface as Eleonora romps across Lake Champlain next summer.